Hi beauties, I hope you're having such an amazing day today. In today's video, we are talking all about binge eating. And I know for me personally, this is a super sensitive topic because I have experienced numerous times of uncontrollable eating. I just kind of go in a frenzy and I would just eat as much as possible. This did happen years ago. Thank God I do not experience them anymore. Now I'm not a doctor, so always seek professional help ladies. This is really important and can really affect the rest of your life. So please see a doctor, watch this video because I am just giving you my personal opinion on it, but please see a doctor because this will help you. So I'm gonna take it back when it all started. About six years ago, I was in my first year of university and I would literally go and get a ginormous pizza, the largest frozen yogurt um, tin that you could possibly buy at the store. And I would go smoke weed a little bit and just literally eat the entire box of pizza and all of the frozen yogurt like the entire yogurt would be gone i would consume probably at least 3,000 calories in one sitting and feel like absolute miserable the next day i would feel horrible i'd feel so guilty about myself so horrible and that is basically how it all started the initial feelings that i would get from eating that food i felt comfort so in that very moment, I felt safety, I felt comfort, I felt happiness, and I felt relief. Whatever outlet that you would use, maybe it's not eating, maybe it's a different outlet that you that you do to try and, you know, put a band-aid on certain feelings that you're having. So I would do this, I would eat a ton of food, and then feel really guilty and shameful about it the next day. And you could really tell my clothes, you could really tell my self-confidence, you could tell my self-esteem, all of these different things, I just felt horrible. I literally felt absolutely horrible. And I would also go into bathrooms, I would go to the vending machine and grab chocolate bars and chips and just eat them in the bathroom. I didn't do that a ton, but I did do that a couple times. And it just goes to show how horrible I was truly feeling on the inside. And oh, I know how you're feeling, I know. And it sucks and you feel like you're just trapped in a dark hole and you have no way and no idea on how to possibly get out of the situation that you're currently in. I did not see a doctor, which I probably should have at the time. I should have seen professional help to go over things that I was feeling internally and try and try and just get help because at the time I didn't tell one single person. I didn't tell anyone what I was going through. And that's also another thing you need to tell people because when you tell someone there's, well, it depends on who you tell, but if you trust them enough and it's like a friend or a family member or someone that you know a million percent you can trust, then talk to them. But before that, seek professional help. And for me personally, to get over that spot in my life where I just felt so low, fitness was truly the answer for me and i'm not just saying that because i'm a personal trainer i'm probably biased but for me personally that was an escape for me to be in touch with who i truly am it all started after those feelings of low self-worth and low confidence and all these different things because of time and time again of just overfeeding and overeating like i literally would go to a drive through every single day i would get takeout every single day i don't think there is one day where i didn't have takeout food or drive through food and so all those feelings of overeating and severe binge eating especially at nighttime um it all stemmed from what was on the inside right like how how I was feeling, how I was feeling emotionally, the worth that I put on myself and how valuable I thought it was, how much I loved myself, um, what, my, what I knew my passions were and, and me being able to actually fulfill different things that I have always wanted to do. 
I knew at that very moment that I had to get out of my situation that I was in. I was with a lot of people who, I mean, they're all very positive, they're friendly. I had so many friends at the time, but I knew I had to step out of the situation and just kind of seclude myself for a little bit. It was really lonely. It's, it was really lonely. I spent weeks by myself, but at that time, I knew that was the only way for me to possibly get better. And, you know, maybe you're stuck in a job where you can't get out. For me, I was in university and it was just a matter of switching schools. And it did cost me extra money. It did cost me extra time. I technically wasted my first two years of university, but I knew that the only way for me to get better was to A, leave the location and leave my current environment because a lot of my friends were just into partying and drinking and that's fine if they want to do that but in order for me to get better I had to leave the scene because I do believe in God and I knew that God had a much bigger plan for me and he has a bigger plan for you too. So after I left this situation, I was again alone for a couple years and that is what I needed in order to move on. I started to pick myself up again. So before I was living in a house where everyone kind of ate a bunch of junk food, they just ate crap most of the time, the girls would always be eating McDonald's. I knew that in order for me to get better, I had to get out of that situation and start grocery shopping on my own. So when you're grocery shopping on your own and you don't have the influence of your friends around you, like let's just get a bag of chips or let's split a pizza tonight, you start to rethink of the foods that are actually going into your body. So I would be at the grocery store and really think to myself like, hey, do I really want to eat this bag of chips? No, I don't. Like, let's opt for popcorn instead. Um, it was just little swaps that I did at the beginning that really made a difference. If I was craving a salad, usually I would just get heavy Caesar salad, creamy dressing, lots of sauce on it. And then I was thinking, hey, let's get this tomato salad instead. So I would just be making these small little swaps and changes of things that I knew would benefit my body and nourish my body in the end. And once you start doing these little things, once you start loving yourself in that way, then those feelings of self-destruction and low self-worth and low self-esteem slowly start to vanish. And I know a lot of us get our self-worth from our friends. Like back when I was in university, I had a million friends. I absolutely loved hanging out with everyone. I always had to have people around me. For me personally, I didn't know who I was. I was just a mixture of all my other friends. So I didn't, I wasn't able to create myself in the way I wanted to. Started out with healthy swaps. Then I started to really pay attention on who I wanted to hang out with. So at that time, I had some of my friends who wanted to come and see me, and I would just think to myself, like, Hannah, do you really want to hang out with these girls? Not that they're bad or anything, but do they benefit your life? Are they gossiping? Are they talking negative about others? Is, is there always problems that are going on in their life? Is it, are we always talking about other girls all the time? So you want to rethink about who you're hanging around with. And even today, like I have friends from all over the world because I've handpicked and chosen and selected the girls that I want in my life. I think it's really important that the girls you pick add fruit. So they're not adding weeds and throwing stones and trying to throw their problems on you, but they're actually trying to uplift you. And during this whole period of time, there were some experiences where I did overeat and I did binge, but because I was just on this mission of finding myself and on this mission of loving myself, taking care of myself, those feelings of of me wanting to eat a lot of food wasn't there anymore. It just starts off with doing little small steps, little small things every single day. And when those add up, then you can look back and be like, oh my gosh, this is what I was thinking. Oh my gosh, Hannah, I just made the biggest transformation. 
I literally did it all by myself. It was all my own doing. It was all just me wanting to take the step and just making healthy swaps, healthy substitutes, you know, taking the stairs to work, walking whenever I could, but you have to get rid of everything that is weighing you down. So I want you to get out a pen and paper and write down everything that may be weighing you down. Maybe take 30 minutes, okay? Maybe take 10 minutes, however long. Just sit in your thoughts and it could be friends. It could be people at work. It could be, I don't know, boyfriends, relationships. Whatever is weighing you down right now, I want you to write that out. Be so super clear on this and all possible, try and remove these. I know it's hard if you're at work. For you, I would just say, Make small talk, but don't get into the nitty gritty details and information. So ladies, choose self-worth, choose loving yourself every single day. Put up affirmations in your bedroom, put up quotes that you love, make a vision board, do what you have to do to find yourself, to recreate yourself, and to discover who you really are. And first thing you have to do is get rid of the negativity and get rid of the things that are weighing you down. Oh, and another thing that was weighing me down was alcohol. Well, I would drink almost every single night. Maybe you're not drinking every single night, but discover what is weighing you down. Discover what things that you really need to get rid of. What new healthy habits you need. What new routines you need to implement in your life. You gotta figure these things out if you really want change. If you don't want change, hey, that's fine. Just keep doing what you're doing. You have to stop complaining. And I know you are worth way more than that. You just have to believe in yourself. So get up that pen and paper, figure out what things are weighing you down, figure out if you need to talk to a doctor or get some professional help, some medical advice, Ladies, don't be afraid. Talk to someone, talk to someone you trust. And lastly, create those healthy habits and those routines and stay consistent with it every single day. And it doesn't have to be a big, massive change. I think a lot of the time we think, oh, we got to drink a million bottles of water a day. We need to do all these different things. And you don't need to overwhelm yourself. Just start off with one simple thing every single day and I promise you'll be able to break through from this just like I did and I know so many other ladies did too. Just keep at it and I know you will get a transformation.